Welcome, ladles and jelly spoons, once again to Pat's Friday 5 Minute Facts here on Kai Matthews' YouTube channel, coming at you live via videotape from Orbital Broadcast Bunker. We're doing things a little bit differently this month. I hope you enjoy the change. Please let us know what you think in the comments down below. <laughs> Developed by DMA Designs, known now as Rockstar North, and published by BMG Interactive, it marks the beginning of the Grand Theft Auto series, one of the most successful and influential franchises in video game history. The game was initially released for MS-DOS and Microsoft Windows platforms, and later ported to various other platforms, including the PlayStation, Game Boy Color and others. <laughs> The game was notable for its adult themes and violence, which sparked significant controversy and media attention. This notoriety, however, contributed to the game's commercial success. The original Grand Theft Auto laid the groundwork for its successes, which would go on to refine and expand upon the open-world gameplay formula. The series became famous for its satirical take on American culture, deep narratives and expansive game worlds. <laughs> The original Grand Theft Auto is remembered as a groundbreaking game that helped define the open world genre, leading to a franchise that remains hugely popular and influential in the gaming industry. Did you know there's a way to duplicate yourself in the original Grand Theft Auto? Go to a bike without weapons, press enter and hold control at the same time. Take the car behind and smash the bike. You'll now see a copy of yourself. Don't drive over him though, you'll just die. The streets of GTA maintain an infinite supply of police cars in the face of escalating crime levels, largely thanks to the single-handed efforts of you, the player. But if you can put aside the gratification of blowing up police vehicles and instead leave the coppers with barely functioning, heavily damaged wagons, you can move through traffic largely with impunity. Whenever police presence would be triggered, instead of dashing to the scene at crime in powerful cruisers, they would stagger to the scene in a fleet of dented chitty chitty bang bangs that you mercifully spared. Should the police cars blow up, the department appears to instantaneously replace the exploded cars with brand new ones with everything in top condition. Cultivate their deprivation, however, and you can cause the entire force to limp along whilst you cruise by in the fastest ride that you can grab. In Vice City, you often see clothes that have been hung out to dry above alleyways and roads. Some of the blankets say GTA or CM, the initials of artist Craig Moore, who worked on the game's textures. In San Andreas, one at missions is to play by Uncle Fu's crime syndicate is killing mob boss Don Tegari. This is most certainly a reference to Don Traeger, who was involved in establishing publisher BGM Interactive in 1995. And finally, I'm sure you'll all be pleased to know that the original GTA appears in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die by Tony Mott. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Please be sure to drop a like and a cheeky subscribe if you're not already. Share this video out with people who you think might like it and we'll see you next week.